respected chairperson and august audience at the outset let me thank uh, dr hitesh gopal and course coordinator and the course uh, director dr ashok johari for giving me the chance for uh, delivering this lecture on principles in the management of fracture neck of fever you all know fracture neck of fever and fracture and uh, is so unsolved as that of the neck of the ladies and just to make you awake i have put this picture why this fracture neck of femur is an unsolved problem because of the decreased blood supply absent cambium layer of the periosteum and this has to heal by direct endosteal healing and because of the high velocity of trauma in adults the combination again uh, contributes or attributes to the uh, unsolvation and the angiogenic inhibiting factors in the synovial fluid but continuously beds the fracture hematoma and the chance of union is very less this is a quick picture uh, depicting the circulation of the neck of the femur and the head of the femur where the medial circumflex femoral artery is important and the retinacula of vibrate on the posterior aspect is important so the again it, the uh, problem of uh, uh, solving this fracture is difficult because of the problems of fixation and the choice of implant difficulties in uh, choosing the choice of the implants and the complication intrinsic complications associated with these fractures regarding the age and gender gender the age usually is about 65 years and the females outscore the males and the factors affecting the outcome the osteoporosis endocrine disorders jet disorders and neurological disorders are all the major factors which are affecting going to affect the outcome especially neurological disorders with frequent history of falls and those patients who are not in a good preambulatory status before the fall the uh, presentations would be since it's a pg forum i have focused mainly on the, the post graduate perspective and so the presentation would be the pain uh, joint line tenderness and unable i mean uh, unable to weight bear on that leg after the fall after a trivial fall a joint line tenderness may be there for the patient and patient may show a shortened leg with external rotation and telescopy if elicitable is a pathognomonic uh, clinical finding regarding the classifications the gardens classifications the one which is uh, very commonly used uh, throughout india and here uh, regarding the classification i would like to insist this classification is more based on the displacement of the uh, fracture rather than the tabacular pattern itself so the displacement based on the displacement one and two will be the undisplaced fractures one will be incomplete with the impaction and uh, two will be the complete three and four will be displaced three will be the partial displaced and four will be the uh, completely displaced fractures in paul's classification depending on the angle of the fractures 30 to 70 degrees 70 being the third grade and uh, the, regarding the children's uh, fracture neck of femur delbits classification is very useful and type 1 is the, the transcervical type 2 transcervical type 3 cervical trochanteric and intertrochanteric would be type 4 to assess uh, the fracture and the initial management will uh, depend on the history examination and the history is uh, you have to always uh, ask the history of concomitant medical illness drugs free fracture mobility social circumstances and on examination you have to always look for the dehydration chest heart comorbid medical conditions which is going to decide the physiological age of the patient the cns problems uh, mini mental test scores all these things the pain relief for quick pain relief better give morphine or pethidine that would be much useful for uh, neck of femur fractures and uh, after clinical examination the x-rays ap and the lateral views the points to be noted whether the fracture is a complete fracture the whether the sentence line is broken the prominent lesser trochanter because of the external rotation and sings index angle of fracture and the acetabular changes which i have not mentioned here and this is a picture of sings index if doubt is there about the fracture then mri will be the most accurate uh, investigation of choice rather than the ct because it shows the edema of the uh, at that uh, fracture micro fracture lines isotope bone scan is non specific pre operative priming of the patient is important and thromboprophylaxis is important the 
Uh, in young patients, in fracture neck of femur, it's an orthopedic emergency as you call for the, as you say, for the dislocations, major of major joints. Fracture femoral neck should be treated as an orthopedic emergency and surgery performed within 6 to 12 hours in displaced fractures and within 24 hours in non-displaced fracture yields good results. The aim in treating these fractures should be uh, aimed at early anatomical reduction, impaction of the fracture fragments and rigid internal fixation which will permit early mobilization and prevent delayed complications. The management protocol per se will be in for garden stage 1 and 2 operative. Uh, the, uh, we have to stabilize either with the cancellous screws or a sliding hip screw. So one will be uh, more, will be more used for the cancellous screws rather than the sliding hip screw. But the disadvantage of the parallel cancellous screws would be an increased risk of subtrochantric fracture provided the patient goes for early weight bearing in an osteoporotic individual. And here the disadvantage would be the uh, more risk of avascular necrosis when you go for a sliding hip screw. And the management protocol for uh, garden stage 3 and 4 in displaced fractures, that is the displaced fractures, the, those patients uh, with physiological age less than 65 years better go for close reduction if possible with the multiple screw fixation and close reduction when it's not possible go for an open reduction uh, with or without osteotomies around the hip. And those patients with physiological age more than 65 years, physiological age means we mean always the comorbid situations, conditions associated with the uh, patient. For the, those patients, prosthetic replacement would be better, either a hemi or total. We will come later. The conservative treatment of intracapsular fracture, is there any role for conservative fracture treatment? Uh, nowadays, uh, uh, it's uh, better not to go for conservative measures. Though it's rarely used, the displacement rate even in impacted fractures has been 15%. Is there any role for abseration or capsulotomy of the hip? Because uh, the uh, capsulotomy may reduce the risk of tamponade by some school of people say, but it's still debatable. And regarding the cancellous screw fixations, the cancellous screw fixations, uh, it should be in a triangular pattern and the A type of fixation is much better and they are done in a parallel way. Sliding hip screw, poor results and I have already told you it can cause more uh, avian. Regarding the reduction techniques, closed or open, closed method reduction techniques should be uh, taught to the postgraduates, especially with the hip in extension and with the hip in flexion. Hip in extension would be the Whitman's method, which is commonly followed, and the hip in flexion would be the Ledbetter method, though other methods are also described. Uh, I'll show you this is the okay, Whitman's method, the hip in extension and abduction. and abduction. This is the most commonly method, method followed uh, by me, and uh, the results have been poor, very good. And the results of, again, this is the Whitman's method, one, two. And if, even if this method of reduction is not possible, you can go for this Ledbetter's method. So let better uh, and uh, thrust the circumduction method and the uh, abduction. In uh, after the reduction is over, then we have to look for the uh, uh, accuracy of reduction by Lowell's criteria and Garden's alignment index. And the heel palm test has to be seen so that it maintains the neutrality of its position. When to do an open reduction and unsatisfactory position after a second or a third attempt in patients younger than 65 years and early displacement following internal fixation. Again, they are indications for open reduction. I think I will push off with these slides because it is a very huge topic. And uh, what about the hemiarthroplasty? Hemiarthroplasty, whenever you say hemiarthroplasty, there are two broad types, the modular and the non-modular. The modular will be the unipolar and bipolar in young. And non-modular will be the conventional old cemented Thompson or a non-cemented Austin Moore processes. And regarding the total hip replacement, this is the uh, this has now become the 
uh, standard uh, treatment provided when there are acetabular changes in the X-ray. I am with you, sir. Yeah. Will you allow some more minutes? One minute, please, finish. Oh, it's fine. So when art when arthroplasty is uh, when arthroplasty is a more suitable uh, uh, option than internal fixation, when uh, the time has elapsed more than one week, secondary to RA rheumatoid arthritis or pagets or malignancy or metabolic bone disorders and as a salvage procedures, arthroplasty will be suitable. Then coming to the complications of non-union, the non-union avascular necrosis. In the non-union, the treatment is better to go for the arthroplasty or Girdlestone resection arthroplasty. And Girdlestone, the word about Girdlestone resection arthroplasty still has a role provided there is a deep-seated infection when you open inside and go for excision of the uh, head of the radius, uh, head of the uh, femur. And latent classification is very useful in assessing the femoral neck non-union. And uh, this is about the uh, vascularized grafts with the Mayo's graft, quadratus muscle pedicle graft, or Bakshi's tensor fascia graft, or Davis' sartorius graft. All these grafts aid in union but not revascularization. That is what I would like to stress. Regarding the avian, it occurs in 5 to 8 percent of non displaced fractures, and uh, it usually it manifests by two years. So you may have to be prepared for uh, AVN. AVN is a very slow uh, onset and uh, gradually the patient develops the symptoms. And regarding the failure of fixation, it's usually due to the inadequate reduction and poor bone quality and poor choice of implant. And uh, the mortality of these patients of neck of femur fraction, one year mortality of somewhere comes highly up to 50%. And uh, with the increased risk of medical comorbidities, surgical delay more than three days, all these things increases the mortality. So there is always a clinical race between the fixation failure and the union. So this patient, see just for clinical uh, example I have shown, this appears to be an impacted fracture and displaced even on the lateral view, I have not taken the x-ray. It has been fixed after some time, say six weeks following the fracture fixation, it goes for a failure of fixation because of the osteoporosis and it has been done a uh, total hip replacement. Children in type 1 and 2, two it is always better to fix and uh, even if the patient comes late, since this is a four, four months old uh, type 1 epiphyseal injury which has been fixed, though if the patient has developed some avascular necrosis, patients clinically they do well and later on we can plan for the next surgery. Thank you very much.